This new model converts code from a programming language to another without any supervision. It can take a Python function and translate it into a C++ function and vice versa without any prior examples. It understands the syntax of each language and can thus generalize to any programming languages. Let's see how they did that. This is What's AI and I share artificial intelligence news every week. If you are new to the channel and want to stay up to date, please consider subscribing to not miss any further news. To understand this new model by Facebook, called the Transcoder, we first need to introduce what it is. In short, it's a transcompiler, meaning that it is a source-to-source -source translator which converts a source code from a high-level programming language such as C++ or Python to another one. Currently, this type of translation requires manual modifications in order to work properly because of the complexity of the task. It is hard to respect the target language conventions when changing from a programming language A to a programming language B. Plus, since it is a complex task, it requires a lot of knowledge in both target and source programming languages to work, which means a lot of examples and computation time. This is why Facebook tried this new approach using unsupervised machine translation to train this fully unsupervised neural transcompiler. The model was trained on open source GitHub projects and mainly trained to translate functions between three programming languages, C++, Java and Python. They achieved that using a sequence-to-sequence -sequence model with attention, composed of an encoder and a decoder with a transformer architecture, trained in an unsupervised way, specifically on functions. At first, they initialize the model with cross-lingual masked language model pre-training. This is done by randomly masking some of the tokens and training the transcoder to predict these masked tokens based on the context, allowing the model to create high-quality sequence representations regardless of the programming language. Once the pre-training is done, the decoder is then trained using the pre-trained transcoder as input to always generate valid code sequences, even when fed with noisy data, increasing the encoder robustness to input noise. In order to translate functions from one language to another, we need to add this last part, the back translation, which is composed of two models as you can see in this image. The target to source model, which is used to translate the target code into the source code, producing a noisy source sequence. Then, this sequence is used in the source to target model to reconstruct the target sequence from this noisy input. If this doesn't tell you anything, I invite you to check out the videos I made on attention and transformers, which are linked in the description below. As the results show, there are still a lot of progress to be done in the field, but the best translation shows over 90% success, which is a huge jump in accuracy. Here are some examples of functions translated using the transcoder. I invite you to pause the video and take a deeper look at these examples. Programmers will be able to easily improve and build robust cross-platform software with these improvements in translations with little or no modifications to make to their code, using a single code base. The code and pre-training models will be publicly available soon as they said in the paper. Of course, this was just a simple overview of this unsupervised code translator. I strongly recommend to read the paper linked in the description to learn more about it and try out the code whenever it's available. Leave a like if you went this far in the video. And since there are over 90% of you guys watching that are not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to the channel to not miss any further news clearly explained. If you want to support the channel, I now have a Patreon linked in the description where you can do that.